Drew Brees joins us here in Indianapolis, and uh, boy, a tale of two halves. You guys jump out early, close at the end, but a good team win for you guys. Yeah, it was, all the way around. Um, defense played phenomenal in the first half. Um, not only shutting them out, but then getting those two, turno two turnovers. Special teams coming up with a big one. You know, we get the fake uh, field goal. I mean, just a lot of things went our way, obviously. Um, and so we knew that, man, the second half was going to be a battle. We knew these guys would come out swinging, and sure enough, they did. You know, I mean, really, they outscored us 21 nothing. you know, from – uh, midway through the third quarter on, which, you know, that part doesn't sit well with me or any of the guys. I mean, we, you know, we felt like we had our chances, certainly. Um, you know, we didn't necessarily make any mistakes. You know, it's not like we over-aggressive or turn the ball over, anything like that. I mean, you know, at times we were getting pinned back inside our own 10. We'd make it out to the 50, but then there was no points after that. We were flipping the field. We were playing the field position game. But, um, you know, going up against this type of team, we knew that, man, they had the ability to come back and come back strong. And so... Um, yeah, not, not regretful, though, in the way that this game ended, though, because, um, you know, albeit maybe we could have scored some more points, um, bottom line is it's one possession game. Offensively, we have the ball. It's our job to close it out. We're able to get that uh, key first down to Marcus, and, and that was huge. You mentioned the fake field goal. Luke McCown tells me the play was called Bulldog in honor of he and Ben Watson. How can a play like that kind of galvanize a football team? Well, it just shows that you're, you're playing aggressive. You know, you're playing to win. You're pulling out all the stops. And um, if you see, see a weakness or, or, or see something you can take advantage of, then, man, let's exploit it. And great uh, credit to, you know, all the guys on that, on that uh, uh, field goal team, especially Ben and, and Luke, for, for making that play because, you know, we score on the next, pose or next, next play, and, and obviously that's a, that's a big play in the game. You get a touchdown off of that, but you also get a touchdown off two defensive turnovers. Now, the defense has been injured. They've been criticized. Just talk about how their effort you know, really helped you guys today. Man, they, they, played, they played phenomenal. And they knew the challenge that, was, that they were up against. I mean, there's a ton of playmakers on that side of the ball, and one of the best quarterbacks in the league, Andrew Luck. Um, and, man, they did an unbelievable job there in the first half of containing them, you know, getting pressure on, on Luck, being able to get a couple turnovers, um, really putting themselves in a position to um, – you know, make some big plays at big times and, and, and create momentum for us offensively, too. It was very much a complimentary game today. And they showed him out at the half. You go to the second half, late in the game, you're backed up, you have a big third down play, and you, get, you hit the bomb to Brandon Cooks. I mean, how big was that to really change the tempo of this game late? Again, it's a statement that, you know, listen, we're not going to play scared here. We're not just going to pour it up in there for a couple yard gain and then punt it. I mean, you know, listen, we're playing to win and felt like we had an opportunity to run by, by uh, uh, the corner with Brandon, and he did and made a great play. And, man, I mean, we're inches from, you know, him being able to keep his feet and stay in bounds and go score a touchdown. But um, regardless, it just kind of makes a statement to the whole team. On the last drive, you have a third and four. Marcus Colson hadn't caught a ball all day, and you get it to him. Just talk about uh, how big that was. And, and, and you're going to a guy you've been going to for years. Yeah. Um, he's a stud. <laughs> I mean, that's got so much trust and faith and confidence in him. And, um, I mean, when, when, when you know you need to play, uh, I always know I can go to Marcus. Finally, first road win of the year. Uh, you guys have put some wins together now. What can this do for this team moving forward now? Well, it's just continue to, to build uh, momentum and um, confidence. And, you know, if you can start stacking wins together, you know, that's when you start feeling like um, no matter what, who we play, where we play them, um, no matter what the circumstances in the game, we'll find a way to win. Appreciate your time, Drew. Thank you. Brees here in Indianapolis, his first win here in Lucas Oil Stadium for the guy who won a lot of games in this state at Purdue. Now the Saints have won two in a row, three of their last four. That's the story here in Indianapolis. Back to you guys in the Louisiana Cat Studios.